When getting into such riveting topics as what's the best isometric puzzle platformer for the NES, people tend not to mention Solstice the Quest for Demos on the NES, and frankly, there's kind of a reason for that. The game, for one thing, is almost too open-ended, much along the lines of, say, Wizards and Warriors 3. The game is also extremely difficult, and not really in a good way. It's one of those games that would have benefited a lot from some sort of password system, and considering this game is isometric, the depth perception is naturally pretty low due to the NES's limitations. Solstice is also one of the many games along the line of, you either like this game or firmly detest it, and I feel like the reason for that is that some people really don't enjoy trial and error games anymore. But if there's one thing that everyone in the universe agrees on is that the soundtrack for this game is amazing. seriously some of the best NES music I've ever heard. Solstice isn't a bad game per se, but it's definitely not for everyone. I'd say if you're willing to pour a lot of time, and I mean a lot of time into this game, I'd say give it a shot, otherwise the casual player should probably stay away from this game. 